All right, so I'm out on the uh, Future Beta doing a little uh, Luna Cycles battery uh, analysis. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Uh, it's still, if, if I'm at it, it just drops way too many volts, but I don't know, I'm trying to break it in or something. So I'm taking it really easy, like keeping it under like a, like a thousand watt load. And uh, it seems to be doing all right. It floats back up to 78, 77 when, you're leave it, when you leave it alone. But the second you get under load, it's like at 74, 73. And if you crack it hard, it goes down to the 60s. So it's definitely, something's definitely not right, but it's not as bad as I uh, first thought it was. I mean, fully charged, you crack it and it drops pretty darn low. 10 volts is just silly, but I'm babying it right now. See if I can get, you know, 10 miles out of the pack and cycle it a few times. Maybe that's better. Luna said I could send it all the way to California and they could maybe look at it and replace it. Maybe not. So I don't know what's going to happen, but... Might as well try it a few more times before I make the final decision. I'm going to pump my front tire up because it's a little squishy and I just almost ate it in the mud. Since I got these road slicks and I'm off-road right now. Just went over that bridge and things get a little hairy. So I'll throw some PSI in this front tire and uh, get back on the trail. Well, just getting back from the ride, I ended up changing my uh, my low volt cutoff from 66 volts down to 60 volts just to see if the BMS would shut the thing down. and. Uh, it would be 61, 62 volts under load right now. And then when I let off the throttle, it settles back into 71.3. So there's a full 10 volt drop while I'm riding this pack right now. It does not seem normal. 